Yavruk this morning, my friends. First day of the week here. And I wanted to give us just a little video. Headed out the office. Save that electricity. Cost too much money. All right, outside of the office. Outside here. I'm headed out. Beautiful morning here. I can tell you, a beautiful. Ah. One of my little projects. Well, I got the greenhouse ready to begin planting. I won't plant in here during the uh, summer. She's ready. Gaining, um, getting done what I want to do here. I'm gonna put fruit trees there. Fruit, um, fruit um, bushes like these here, like the tomatoes. I'm gonna do that. And I want to do that. Everything is all well with me and Teshua. So we greet you all. This wonderful moment this morning. The veggies and everything, they're growing well. Tomatoes began to produce fruits. And onions won't be long. We'll have to harvest them. The squash is doing its job beautifully and everything. Such a beautiful place here. I'm telling you all, this is a beautiful place. You that have not seen what we have here, I'll give us a little of that today, not much, 30 minutes. And the gardens are well, we're well this morning. I came here with nothing but weeds. I'm telling you, this wasn't here. A thicket of weeds and everything. Ah, we see how that the uh, okra is doing well. And that, kind of between that okra, uh, we have uh, all kinds of things that will assist. Clover and different types of clover. These beans, uh, we're trying to get them trellis, tomatoes, onions. Uh, Everything we need here, deal, and all of that. We used to grow every kind of herb that was needed uh, for culinary and also for health. There was one that came here that lived here, and and this person was of a botany type understanding of thing. We had three hundred twenty three herbs on these lands here, 323. That's the magnitude. This is a large place. You just can't see it from where I am, but I'm the altitude of, of land we own and everything. We own quite a bit. So I'll take you a walk down the uh, plaza and just talk. This is the plaza. This is my this is where I cook here. This is my place here. I got grills everywhere. You're looking at these, these are tables that I grow our seeds on. And during the winter, when I put them out when it's cold here, this is what like a little small greenhouse. It protects them. And this is where we sit. This is where we do things, fellowship. You see that on the Feast of Trumpets will come out. Joaquin will guide us through that process. And everything is looking well. I'm going to take a little walk today, all right? I'll give you just some insight. Let me give my, as the little ones would say, my fishes. Give the fish a little something to eat. Uh, this is the first day of the week. And they tend to do their thing this day take care of the things that need, need to be taken care of around here as far as the personal things. Here we go, look at them. They know Papi is here. Look at them, their mouths open. Oh, look at that. I'll read, I'll read, 
redefined this pond uh, twice. This is the third refinement. I did that. Uh, uh, the sound of that water will mesmerize you. Just give you a shot this morning. It's early. It's 7.30. I am up. And the community is up. But always remind people of the house, $1,500. I had the first tiny house in America. We were in a tiny house before the word came a part of the vernacular. That's what we had. More than a tiny house. We had everything that we needed here. Let me make some adjustments. Now I'll keep it there. And we have lived here all these years. My wife and I, 27 years. Oh, look at the sunflowers. Are they beautiful? This is so beautiful. I don't know which way I want to go. I may go around this way and yeah, I will. Show you some things. Sunflowers, they're waking. It won't be long that we can, the children, that's all they're waiting for the harvest there. They're not there yet. Sunflowers. Deck on the side there, we can sit, look at things. Flowers. Uh, I can tell you probably the birds coming over here. The bees, uh, the bumblebees. We have all kinds of bees and carpenter bees. Look at the corn, it's getting to where it needs to be. This was somewhat of a, this time of the year here is extremely hot. But she's coming. Okra, she's coming. Okra does well here, but honestly, this year, this was a cool beginning of summer. It's cool here this morning. Usually it's, uh, this time of the year, it's about mm, 80 degrees. You get up and it's 80 degrees. Playground, we got to get everything right. We got to, let's soak, uh, turn it around this way, facing this direction. This is a beautiful building right here. I'm quite sure it's not open, but uh, flower beds, sometimes things do well and sometimes they do not. They come uh, and they don't. We're putting drainage around this building here. I built, we built this building, but I did basically I did all the inside, basically, in the sense of decoration and all of that, Akin. Some of this wood is going bad on the deck. This was wood but that was retrieved from jobs and things like that. But this is, this is called the Daughter's Fellowship. See, it's, I can't get in there. It's a very beautiful place. I'm not going to waste time on that. But, uh... A place here. It's an apartment building right there. That's where the Akeem there. We got to move, finish up one of them to make sure all three. This is where they live. Right here. That's the Akeem working. That's the big monster there. That's Big Daddy. I call him Big Daddy. That's Yoasadan. Everything is well. This is one part of our community. This is how we live. This is how we operate. I'll show you some monsters over here. I'll show you some sheep, some ram. They're tough. Some big boys here. Take them out. So they don't run the run the sheep to death. We'll put them back in the spring and let them mate and back in the fall. And then they will, they will produce babies. 
in the spring of the year. So I haven't been in here in a day or two. We're gonna go down. This used to be a building we used to raise chickens here. But look at him. He's a real man. He's a man's man. Look at him. Look at him. Look at that monster. Look at him. Look at him. Yep. 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 Let me see if I can. Just get a glimpse. That's the other. See how big they are? Yep. 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 Look at him. Look at him. Let me let him know. One is limping down here. What's it up, Shalom? Big Daddy, that big ram down, something is wrong with the left front hoof. You gotta check on these rams down here. Something is wrong with one, one is limping. Look at those beautiful trees, oak trees. We have quite a bit of land, we really do. You get a chance to see it. But I want to take a walk down this way. I haven't been down this way in a minute, and I'll show you some duck out here, ducks. And um, I want to build a little pond for them, for the ducks. And I want to just take a look. It is lusciously green here in South Carolina. Everything is robust. I'm going to build a log cabin. That's one thing I'm going to do before y'all grants me my abba. Before I leave this world, I want to build a log cabin. We got tons of pine. That tree must come down. You see that big tree here? Look, you see big that pine tree is? Look at it. Look at this one. I've got hundreds of pieces of wood to build a cabin. Look at that tree. We got them here. There you that seen this before if you've kept up with us. And I'm sure this to those that are new that will come on, venture on. I want to build a pond right in that area right there. Take the back hole and dig that out. And so the ducks can have places to go. This is all our property, our land, where we live. Beautiful home there. I'll gi give you a chance to see it, but that's a beautiful five bedroom home. It's beautiful inside. I did 90% of the work. I designed everything. I went inside and all of that. Look at those beautiful popular trees. That's what they call furniture wood there. We have a piece of land across a creek and uh, we had nothing but trees like that. When man said to me, preacher, let me cut those trees down. Come on, let's make that money. And I said, not yet. And I regret that because about five years ago, we had such tremendous amount. It was like a monsoon here, water. And it just destroyed all of them. They're all dead. There's probably two acres of trees down there, just dead. And every time I pass by that way, my heart just sinks. That would have been a lot of money. We can use a lot of money right now at this time. Beautiful trees. This is just beautiful. And I'm telling you, it's beautiful. Look at that big tree there. You see the base of it? Well, look at it. Look at these trees. But this is our lives here. This is how. And I certainly appreciate my life. 
I could have been independent on my own. Am I sure? As the world was said, we could have lived, but not with the kind of friendship I have garnered here in this life. Among Yah's people, that is more important than anything. It is. Everything is beautiful. Everything here. I just want to take you for a little walk this morning around the community just a little bit. Show you some aspects of it. How we live. Got to lock the gate, those those rams will get out. This is a uh, swimming pool, ready to get that together. Yeah, we covered that so. So our young daughters. We don't want them, you know, revealing everything they have with, uh, revealing themselves in a way that's inappropriate to their fathers and the Aki. So they'll swim a day, the sons, they swim like that. Well, why can't the boys swim with the girls? Well, stop that. There is segregation in the kingdom. This is a fellowship here. We got to get that tin on that part done. This is our graveyard. These have passed away here. We had a tremendous amount of people living here. This is our graveyard right here. The deaths from the youngest. That's what we have. From the oldest. We bury our own here. Part of the school. We're gonna turn that into a university there. All the graves. Bishop. Zakinya Ramayal's father. This is so beautiful here. Um, there was a young one that passed here. This is our graveyard. This is our radio room here. You see this big tower here? Let me turn so the so the uh, sun will not shine in it. And this is part of what I'm going to make out of the university for our students when they graduate and take courses online. And this was a main school building here. But look at this. This is a radio tower. Satellites and all up there. I can't even. The old man is getting old. This is what we call a low power radio station. It's amazing because I'm. They were. The only thing I had to do is pay a fee, and this was probably 20 plus years ago. And I was cognizant of that that the FCC was, they wanted people of my hue to become participants or open the doors for them for radio stations. And I applied and I would, we got the license. What Caucasians will do, they will, I've had those who want to buy this station as a repeater. They got low power radio station and they get them close by each other and they just repeat, repeat. And they cover miles. And, of covering and it was uh, I was basically meant for people of my hue for them but many were not aware of it the churches and all they it's sad this is a beautiful little fellowship right here they come we come out here doing we got pretty places of fellowship and Come out here, sit, and just enjoy each other. That's what we do. This was a full-size NBA basketball court. It is. I played this every day. That's why I'm walking with this cane. That's part of it. Lights out here. 
We played ball all the time. We had a group. And then uh, it's a beautiful little fellowship. I'm working on that now. Let me take you inside and show you what I'm trying to do. We're working on the Akim. This is where one of our precious daughters live. That's an upstairs there. That's going to be turned into a, an office for one of the Ach here. But this here, the young boys still come play. I can't do nothing. I can't even shoot. I play ball every day. I could dunk. 225 pounds, I could dunk a basketball. I was very athletic. That's not boasting. But that is what I want. Let's go inside of the communal fellowship. I'm in the process. We're remodeling this. This hasn't been done in so many years, so we're remodeling this. Changing the colors on the walls. That's why all this paint is here. And I got things. I will redesign this. I designed the ceiling and everything. All kind of collages of colors and the beauty. And the towel here. See all those beautiful colors? You come in, we fellowship here. Those are pretty colors, aren't they? So if you've got any carpenters you want to give me a hand, come on. We're working on this now. Getting this done. That's what we're doing. Heat by wood as well. The wood burning stove, we come in here, we fellowship and everything. Just enjoy each other. And have just fellowship. It's so beautiful. You only do that in your places on Sunday, yeah. I know of constructs of this nature, but I wouldn't fellowship with them. I would not. And I fellowship with them. But I would not. Everyone's going with the polygyny thing now, but it's not so. That was not from the better sheet. He didn't give us no right for divorcement or anything. Let me show you this. This is where our strawberries, we will put strawberries in the spring of the year. See along that, all these beds here, all this old stuff was thrown away rejects. Or they would say, preacher, you want to buy it. How much you want for it? You got to give me $4 a piece for it. I'll tell you what, I'll take them all at $2 a piece. Will you sell them all? Now, preacher, you drive a hard bargain. I said, no, because I'm dealing with a bargain maker. That's how. This is one of the first ponds we dug. They all stock with fish. Somewhere this pond lose water in the summer. It's got to be something. The only thing that's going to square that away is that we dig the whole pond out. We're not about to do that. I built that for feeder and and to raise more fish over there. Haven't done it yet. Look, this is a beautiful house right here. That's a beautiful house inside. Beautiful. No one lives there. I paid uh, oh, Mr. Donjet. Breach, you want to buy this house because he wanted too much for it. I said, make me a deal. He said, I tell you what, will you give me 3000 I said, if you bring it and set it up, I'll do that for you, preacher. Now, no man please me, period. Do you understand? No one. I'll give you, I'll give you a billion, a millionaire. You don't play me. We're going to discuss matters. And I'm going to come away with a better deal. That's factual. I would always. This is one of our greenhouses. Let me show you. Ah. You got to give me a new selfie stick. You want to send a gift to help me in those areas? Send that. This is our greenhouse. And we grow stuff out here. I did two years. And uh, this greenhouse, we haven't grown in this in about three years. Uh, yeah, but this year we're gonna grow in it. Let me take you inside. We're going to grow in this house this year. I'm looking for my seeds to get 
the greenhouse seeds, and it's just a mess in here. But we got everything set up for our buckets, how we're going to do things and how we're going to grow. See how it is? We're going to grow here. We got, we got everything in here, see? Everything we need. That's what you can do when you pull your resources. Everyone has enough here, believe me. Everyone has more than enough. No bills. No bill. Now don't say I'm going to come there. No, it doesn't work that way. But this is the greenhouse. We built this. And I would say I did 67% of the work in this greenhouse. I did. Because the other Akim were doing other things. So I'm not one lazy. This is this is a this is a bed for our earth wands and things. Tables that we put fruit and everything on. We can grow. And I built this house right here. I got to fix it up. I don't use it as much. I use the one in my house. I built this is what they call a solar greenhouse. This is what this is called. You can tell this junkie now. But this is the solar greenhouse. I could put in this greenhouse along, I could start 5,000 ceilings. Lights and everything. I don't know when I'll use this again, but if the old man goes, it's left to the Akeem to do those kinds of things. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, she doesn't want to lock. I get it down the steps here. Oh, this is bad. Beautiful flowers and things. I'm just going to give you a glimpse of what we have. I talked about the water tanks that uh, we'll use these. You see that tank right there? That will cost you today one used like that, about 3000 I could get them three or $400 back in the days. And every time someone had one, I bought every one of them. For what reason? Because you never know. These all are going to be used catching water. That's what I purchased them for. Give you a little look. We have beautiful places. Give you about a half an hour video. Look at that pond. They're fishing then, now, believe me. The area it is not on. But it's a beautiful pond right in front of a little beautiful house. Beautiful, it really is. That's a beautiful little house right there. See the community? Let me see if I can enhance that. See the community? This is where our chickens are. We've got raw and everything in there that they just forage. They're not, they're free range. And that big building up there, the barn, we have chickens there. We're gonna, we got everything set up where they can range that whole five acres there. No boat. Oh, we got to get this mold in here. My, 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 my. Can't nobody get back there to fish. That's Snake City in there. But this is a pond, too. The noise you hear is you airing this. Oh, well, look at that. That's what we call those ants right there. Look at that. Fire ants. They will hurt you. We use them not to remedy. You see that aerate out there? They're fishing here. I dug or had these dug for one purpose. That was to to make sure that we had water for planting. We have huge pumps and overhead waters and all of those things. We have all that. That's a beautiful house right there. It's neat painting. I get in and do a little work inside. We're putting a new roof on it now. 
That's why the ladder is there. Cozy. As far as I'm gonna walk this morning, I got things to do today. I got a trellis of watermelons and things like that. But this is a beautiful home. This is how Gisra Ya'i should live. I don't care where you are, you should live this way. You can't have no tyrannical leaders that are tyrants raping the women, and that's what they're doing. Two, three, four, five wives can't even take care of the one you got. You've made for mine to have, and I say this emphatically, and I don't spare my words. He gave a man a wife, an ish show. She is a help meet. And because of our wickedness, Moshe allowed them to put away their wives, but the Torah said from the beginning, and we must always start at the better sheet of things. We're liars. Our leaders are liars. They are corrupt. They tell you lies for your money. There are places where men have two, three, four, five wives. No different than the Mormons. We have one Abba, one great, mighty one of Yisrael. He's one. And we are one with him. There's no duplicity. Yep. Yep. We had 100 sheep. We had about 75, 80 cows. Yep. 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 That's the big shop over there. You put anything in there to work on. We got, see those, you can't see them, but I'll let you see that. We got scuffernogs and mustard, muscadines and everything over there. That used to be the south where all the single young men lived. The home's over there. But because we have had a great exodus over the last 10 years, They've just left. We don't have the revenue to refine them, fix them up. It's a beautiful side over there, big barns and everything. Now I'm headed down the road. These are pecan trees that we put up. <laughs> I put We put these up 25 years ago. I would say 20 years. We had a total orchard here. It's some more, I'm just giving you some of the beauty of our community. Ah, this is beautiful here. I love it. I have no complaints, and the Aban knows that. Upstairs was a fellowship that we would teach music and all that. We're getting that all done, but I need your help. Send your gifts and your offerings and everything to help. I grant you to come. We'll feed you and put you up. There are those that want to come, never send a dime. That's not how it operates. These are some of the old, and they're in bad shape, some of the apple trees. We had all down through this course were trees. All of this, and we had an orchard. But yet they're looking decent this year. If I can show you, let me step through here. The sun is out pretty glaring this morning. I pray this come through well. You see that? Uh, I'll walk around and let you see. These apples are looking pretty decent, see? Everything. Let me taste one. Mmm. Tartness, the cows love them. They got to mature. And this was my place right here. This was I was every day. I will come here. This was my second home here. This place. Ouch. A big rope there, everything you see here. I did it all. I did it all. I did everything. That's why I'm in the sheep I'm in. Believe me, when I said I did it all, get on this. This, everything here. 
I got to start, but I, I'm getting too old, I'll tell you. It's, matter of fact, look at this. The shirt that I wear every time I come in here, I got my, my backpack in here. This is where I sit. Change out, just take off the shirt. I don't want to get wet. So this is where I would be here on the basketball court working. This monster right here, this is the monster here. This here, this monster here is old, but it's a monster of a monster. You do 10,000 on that and tell me how it feels. You're gonna drop at least five pounds. That's what will happen to me. Let's head out and I'm gonna finish up this little tour this morning just in the... This is the front of the building, what we're working on, deck here and everything. So we have places like that. There will be so many people that will come doing tabernacle, call them times like that. Trees. Bless you all for the Martins. We always make sure that the Martins come in every year. You can hear them tweaking I'm on the line. There's one flying out. Do you see that? It's the Martin houses to make provision. Hey, there you go, Mama. Come on out. See that one? Yes, sir. This is our barber shop here. We can come get a haircut. That's where Zakim Bidami lives up there. We have two houses that we purchased since we've been here. That's the third one we're trying to get. If we get it, we will. If we don't, that's fine. But you see that big open field. Let me let me do this. Uh, you see that big open field up there? Is that the best visual? Would you get a chance to see it all? That was an orchard. All of that was an orchard. Old house right there, old, old white boy. He said, preacher, he liked me. I don't clown with people. I don't laugh and bull jive. That's not my personality. I've never been like that. Preacher, someone told him about me down here, us. And I met him. He said, Preach, I got a house I give to you. I was born in that house. We got an apartment on the back side. He said, I give it to you. I said, all right, we can work that way. I paid a man $2,000. We got 5,000 in that house. We've done the roof and all of that. This is our tabernacle here. I made everyone that was living here at that time, every man, help. I don't care if you didn't do anything but drive a screw or nail. This is our tabernacle. And everyone helped. Every man, everyone came, they helped. Everyone. This is our community. This is not a trash place. Dirty, things out of order. That's one thing about me, my friends. The cleanliness, you don't come here, your nasty houses. I don't go in people's houses, but you don't come here with that kind of spirit. Nah, mm -mm. I like things to be clean, pristine. That's right. I don't go in no one's house here. I don't visit them because I see them all the time. I don't go sit down with the Achim, with their wives and stuff. No, we sit outside. This is a beautiful place here. Marafia, Zakhinya, Ramaya's wife and those, they keep it pretty. That's where you used to have Shabbat classes and all in that part, schoolhouse and all of that. We built everything here. We built everything here. And this was Teshua Hebrew Academy. That's what it is. Teshuach, victory. Victory is mine, saith Yah. Established 1997.
So you count the years. Established 1997. It's 2024. How many years? That's when we establish this community school. Ouch. That's when we become legitimately certified by the state of South Carolina. What a beautiful place. Quiet, serene. I love it. I love it. You could give us $10 million for this place. No. You're the bees. Zachenia Ramaya has issued. They've gone to retrieve some bees. Someone called them. We used to have hives everywhere. But our Akim work, and it's, that's a laboring experience to take care of the beehives. But his wife, Zachenia, Rabbi Yah's wife, Zachia, she takes care of the bees. They teach their son, their daughters. My Yeshua say the honey is sweet and nice. Well, they're right here in the community. Well, if when they exit, they exit that way. And then they fly back in the community. You don't want any hive, even in the city. You don't want that hive facing your house. Have it where it's facing a direction whereby it's not going to encroach upon other people, all right? But this is our home here. This is how we live. And when I say I did this or I designed that, these Achim work so hard. And I want to make sure when they come home, they come into a place that relieves them. They roll up in here. I designed this right here. I did all that. Our Zakhain did the stuccoing. I laid all these blocks. Well, you got some pagan lines up there. Well, they are pagan, all right? They're pagan. And so this is our place. This is our community. This is our children's playground. And believe me, the speed limit here when you see this... I don't play with no one. You're not going to do 10 miles an hour. You're going to do just what I said. I don't play. This is Teshua community. Verse Yochanan 1-5. That sign is old. This is Lantana. I built this thing. You see that? You're going to do that. That's a huge pond down there. Someone left a text, sell us veggies. Now that's unless you live right by me, it doesn't make sense. That was the first pond we built, this one, to supply the garden, garden one. See the beauty of that, that's a big, that's where the goats and all are. I began this project two years ago and I haven't finished. I meant for the half, I got to finish this and get them. I have a zip line for our sons, our boys. I got to take that pole up higher. I want them to have a zip line. Fly through here. These oak trees, all of this was here. You couldn't even get in here, look. You see all this right here? All of this. I clean all of this out basically by myself. I did. It was so it was such thickets in there you couldn't get through. Will you see much down there? Let me see if I can draw. You can still see the please. Uh, there it is right there. You see the teeth post and the piece of wood? Down in the water, we were to immerse there. I don't do that today, Zakin does it all. But these are huge oak trees. Believe me. And that one's gonna have to come down, that piece. You couldn't walk in here, my friends. And the first thing I did was make sure we had a road created this road here. We got to work on this. We'll do it during the fall, get the road ready. 
That's Teshua. One last stop. This is going to be pretty long here, about an hour. I'm not going to walk all the way down there. You see Zakim Bidamine's house here? See that smoke? <laughs> That's his hot water system. That's where he draw water for showers and everything. And that's how we do it. Oh, he has a system in there, in the home, but 90% of it comes that way. And when it gets cold, he got a one in the home that he can just click on. See how beautiful this is, nation? Can you understand why we, why we are not gonna let someone come here and start some bull jive? You're not going to do it here. Look at the Martins. Look at them. We're not going to let anyone do that. You're not coming here to do it. You want to come in fellowship, that's why. Don't come here. You know, I've had so many people come here and tell us what we need to do. What you want to do, I have one to come here. And tell me, I got an idea that you can make money. I said, how? Well, if you grow trees. I said, do you even understand the process of growing trees, my friend? You're talking that you have no idea, you have no knowledge of anything. I said, how long do you think we can make a little money out of trees if we turn this into just a tree farm? These are my pine trees now. It takes a minimum of 25 years before you get your first cut. That's silly. And people know everything. And you're not going to come in and correct us. Nobody. You, when you do this, you can. When you've spent 27 plus years living like this, you can. But you're not going to tell me. You give me an excellent idea how I can improve them, I listen. And if it works, I say, that's, that's all right. And you probably cannot give me that kind of information because you never live like this. You haven't. You have to always be a creator and think. And that's what I am. Uneducated nicompoomed. You're too bright. That's your problem. You're too bright. You're too smart. You know everything. You can discuss every matter. I don't want to discuss every matter. But this, I know what I'm doing. This, I know what it's going to take. And it's not going to take verbiage. We have a huge place here. We have land here. I would say this to people of my hill, buy land. I don't care what it looks like, buy it. Buy land. And Yah has blessed me with these white boys. And I'm no jokester and I don't play with any Caucasian or any black man. But they like me. I'm very likable. Yah has given me deals with them. They have always, I don't care the first, once I meet someone, it's over. The game is over. Period. Let me give you one more last glimpse, and I am going to close. Look down through here. Zakinya Ramaya's daughter, he lives in this house. They're preparing to move her. She's an older, she'll graduate next year. She had another daughter, and they're going to live there. They're gonna live there. I believe in the young men when they turn really 17, you get out of the house. 16, really. Our young men are 16, they were out of the house. They're young men at 13. And then they learn responsibility that way. But I believe in that. You get up out of the house. You're not gonna be a mama's boy, you're gonna be a man. And these, we have houses here that are open. We have houses, we'll take you down through there. But this is where Zakin uh, Ramayan lives. That's a beautiful home. I've never been inside of it. <laughs> he lives next door to me and I don't even go visit him. Zakin uh, Ramayan lives there. I paid $3,200 for that house. Now he's added on to it. But it's a very, my wife always said it's a beautiful place. And I've never been in this house. Too lazy. I'm just too lazy. And I built this little sukha here for mom and I that doing the tabernacle, we can sleep in that. And uh, look, no fancy truck. You got a dually or truck you want to give me, 
I will certainly receive it. That's all I drive an old truck. I don't want no car. And she rolls every day. Children, the playground. I put that water tank on that side because they can have all the water they want. Make your mud pies and your mud cakes. They got the water. Well, they got their own source of water now. Make mud cakes and make mud pies. And this is our little piece of the world here. Everything. It's one thing that everyone, when they come, they notice the colors, how beautiful it is. I don't believe in no brown and blue and green. That's it. Nah. This is my little shack. My Ima Rafi and I. This is where we live. I love beautiful things. That's why I love the daughters of Zion to be beautiful and the place of beauty. That's what they're for. No woman is going to stand before me and rebuke me. No. She's not. Period. Nothing. Nothing. Well, your wife is up there teaching. She teaches the daughters. And she will always tell you I speak only to the daughters of Tizayon by the command and the charge of Reach Dawid Yisrael. Beautiful little house, isn't it? Thousand five hundred dollars for it. Get out of here. Built the deck. I built all of that by myself. Ah. Did all this. Get the railing and didn't have money to buy the board, so I just used old pieces of cattle panel that was laying around here. And put that up. That's what I use. I don't waste money, nation. I make sure I utilize it. This, and I'm going to close from here. So I go back to the office. It's going to be exactly one hour. This is the first building I built here. An outhouse. We had nowhere to use the restrooms. We had no water. We had to go to town and different places. And I built this from old wood from a very wealthy Iranian woman that we tore down a house for her and I met her. And she was a, her husband was a doctor. And she was a very kind woman. She gave me a Mercedes Benz. She was said to me, Riach, it's not there. You can't have it. I want you to have it. You can. I want to give that to you. This is our Ima Rafia here. Say hi, Ima. All right. Shalom. And um, I took that wool because my wife was trying to assist me in dumping the waste. I said, you let me handle that daughter of Tizayon. So I built that. So it's so an outhouse. Zakin turned it into a compost, composting the waste. We haven't used it, but at that time, that's all we had. So we had to. And this is our little world here, our village. Be it Yisrael, this is where we dwell, this is how we live, and this is how we're going to live. We live this way, and we're going to help each other. We're going to help each other for one thing. This is the most important thing, teaching us how to love and care. You don't care for no one. Teaching us how to love and care. Oh, I love everyone. You're a liar. You don't even know what love is. You don't even know the tennis, the composition of love. You don't even know that. You don't know a thing. That's my young friend here. And he is an enemy, and his father named him after me. I wouldn't have named my son after him. That's my Daiweed. I'm going to break his nose. Hello. All right, that's Daiweed. I give him no chance. Come on around so they can see you. He's always smiling, beautiful smile. That's that weed. Name him after me. And I don't know if he will ever. I will get away from me, son. <laughs> you know that. Shalom, Shalom, my son. So we're going to say to this beautiful house, beautiful place. May Yah's riches rest upon you on this first day of the week. Be encouraged, be strong. I shall.
I've been out early this morning watering, uh, watering the, uh, uh, the, uh, yeah, the onions and things like that. Those big onions are getting big too. Onions and squash and beans and lettuce and things like that. I think the lettuce has gone a little bitter because they love eating the greens and onions and, and the, uh, things like this, cukes and all of that. So this is our lifestyle. This is how we live and this is how we're going to live. May Yah Shalom fill your heart with great achava in all the battles that he has placed you in. Jabaru Shalom. Thank you.